Google Maps and Google Earth especially have had a huge impact in environmental causes, ranging from former Vice President Gore in the United States to uh, the World Wildlife Fund. What happens is that as we show the whole world, the whole planet, in high detail, it makes a perfect platform for environmental groups to tell their story. For example, in the United States, uh, people have used Google Earth to show whole-scale mountaintop removal in Western Virginia. People have used it to uh, show rogue logging plans in California near the Google campus. So uh, literally uh, dozens, if not hundreds, of environmental groups are using Google Earth right now to tell their stories using something called Google Earth Outreach. And if you go to uh, earth.google.com slash outreach, you can find out just how to uh, tell your story. We have all the instructions, tell you just how to do it, and you can have over 200 million people can see your story, maybe get involved and help you change the world. On August 21st, 1888, William S. Burroughs received the first modern day patent for the calculator. It was the first adding machine that was able to print the final result. Its appearance was very much like a typewriter, which his grandson went on to use to become a famous beat generation writer. As you may be aware, I am always excited about projects that encourage and proliferate learning. A new project that has been announced could radically change the way adults and children learn about nature. It's called the Encyclopedia of Life. It's exciting because for the next 10 years, scientists from all over the world will collaborate and bring information together on the world's 1.8 million species of plants, animals, fungi, and microorganisms. Best of all, it will be available for free on the internet. Now this will truly be the world's first encyclopedia of all life on Earth not only including text and pictures, but video, audio, as well as maps. Using new mashup technology, different sources of information can come together to give one uniform experience. By using new technologies, people from all over the world are coming together for one common goal. Information that can help our scientists today and help our children become the scientists of tomorrow.